Okay. So this is an assignment last week. So the problem is a two-story residential building in Occidental Menor. Uh, this project is not supervised by a licensed engineer or an architect. So the building is resting on a two-meter to four-meter backfield. And there is a cliff at the rear side of the wind as of the building. Kunyari, nakikita nyo to? This one. So approximately daw, yung backfield down yan is uh, uh, two to four meters. Okay. And the owner noticed that their wall at the back is somewhat bulging for approximately three to four, uh, three to five inches as seen in this picture. Okay, so ethod somewhat uh, uh, is... Uh, CHB wall is uh, bulging for three to five uh, inches. Okay, also some cracks on the walls are appearing inside the building. So, uh, may nakita ang crack dito sa walls. Okay. And also, there is a concrete uh, port slab on a ground level. Okay. So, as you can see, we have here... This was supposed to be a tie beam. Okay. Uh, so, and dito yung slab. May slab na daw dito. Yan, yung slab na yun. Then also, meron na mga fix, uh, fixtures dun sa loob. May mga, yung nakita namin is, uh, may pinto, may mga uh, kubeta, tapos may mga uh, uh, construction equipment pa dun sa loob. Okay, so as the best of the student solution, uh, student knowledge, write down all the possible causes of the problem and your proposed solutions. Okay, so number one, uh, the uh, yung uh, pinaka uh, maaring dahilan kung bakit nag-cause yung uh, bulging of the walls is because this is a backfill. Okay, this is a backfill. And uh, yung uh hindi well compacted yung soil okay, hindi well compacted yung soil and as you can see there is uh we have a height over here na eto may lupa yan sa loob because of uh, uh pouring of slab okay so imagine you have a backfill let's say this one i think this is approximately 2 to me 2 meters and also you have a concrete of three inches thick or four inches thick. So uh, imagine you have a wall, you have a CHB, uh, CHB <coughs> wall with two meter backfill at the other side, then all uh, concrete uh, uh, slab, then some equipments and fixtures. Okay, let's say this one, you have an equipment and fixtures. Okay, and uh, and on the other side, there is no soil or backfill that will uh, uh, <coughs> counteract this active soil. Okay, so this will be your active soil. This will be your active soil. So therefore, yung lateral force dito, na due to that, ano, hindi nakayana ng wall na to. Okay, hindi nakayana ng wall na to. Kaya nangyari, nagkaroon ng bulging dito sa may... Uh, ground to uh, first floor, this one. Nagkaroon ng bulging dito. Yan. Okay. So, yan yung pinaka da unang dahilan kung bakit nag nangyari ito. Okay. So, the proposed solution is to provide uh, 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 backfill okay, along the perimeter of the uh, along the perimeter of the uh, uh, structure. So, kailangan mag-provide ng backfill dito para magkaroon ng passive side. Okay? Somewhat, yung active and the difference between the active and passive side is hindi ganun kalaki para makontradict ma yung lateral pressure on the active side. Okay? Then also, uh, tinitingnan kung kailangan pa bang mag-provide ng uh, retaining walls dun sa uh, uh, sa tabi ng walls. Pero I think hindi yun yung magandang solution because masyadong mahal. So uh, the best uh, possible solution is to compact yung soil along the perimeter and maglalagay din ng passive soil. Okay, so this one. So I, and uh, 
Ayan. So, also this one. So, kung mapapansin nyo, masyadong malaki yung dito. So, yung, yung, uh, yung foundation nito is resting on the backfill. Okay. Now, so this one. Okay, so that's why I give it to the class para malaman nyo ano yung mga possible solutions or ano yung mga possible causes that uh, on this problem. So, tama pa rin naman yung iba. So, pwede yun yung mga dahilan. Maybe naglintol nung time na to. Or maybe merong settlement na nangyari. Or hindi maganda yung pagkakakompact. Okay, so for me, this is the uh, most suitable uh, reason about this uh, uh, about this problem. Okay? Sige. So today, we will be discussing module 10, stability of a sloping soil. Okay, so uh, the stability of sloping soil is very important in structural engineering, especially uh, especially when you're uh, designing uh, retaining walls. And kapag minsan nandun ka sa, uh, sa DPWH, in a uh, government project. So, kunwari, uh, meron kayong project na uh, kalsada. May project kayong kalsada. And may madadaanan kayong, ano, uh, dito, may madadaanan kayong mga, uh, yung ilalim nung, ng, ng mga bundok, okay, ng mga provinces. Then, syempre, ang gagawin nyo, ikakat nyo yung, ikakat nyo yung, uh, yung paanan ng bundok, di ba? For example, magagawa kayo dito ng kalsada. Then, ang gagawin natin, magkakat kayo dito para medyo malaki. Okay, so, ang propose nyo, for example, uh, ito yung ilalim ng ano, nung, uh, ilalim ng uh, bundok. Okay, ang kailangan nyo gawing kalsada, let's say, uh, required nyo na thickness is 6 meters or 4.5 meters. So, meron kayong ikakat dito para madaanan. So, ang gagawin mo, as you are the, uh, the uh, supervising engineer in the DPWH, so, gagawin mo, magkakat ka dito ng ano, magkakat kayo dito ng soil. Okay? So, you will, uh, uh, you will think, okay, uh, if you need to provide retaining walls or uh, the stability of the soil, slow of the sloping soil is enough, or the stability of soil is enough. Okay, so meaning, ah, uh, hindi na ba to guguho? Hindi na ba to magtatopple over kapag hindi na ako maglalagay ng retaining walls? Okay, so yun yung ah, uh, uh, question na itatanong sa sarili, itatanong sa sarili mo. And to determine the answer to that question is to determine the stability of that sloping soil. Okay? So the soil stability, an exposed ground surface that strands at an angle uh, with the horizontal is called an unrestrained slope. So the slope can be natural or a man-made slope. So it can fail in various modes. Okay? So C. Cruden and C. Varnes classify the slope, uh, the slope failure into the following five major categories. Number one is yung fall. Okay. So, this is the detachment of the soil and rock fragments that fall down a slope. So, as you can see, this one is a fall type uh, uh, failure in uh, slope uh, in sloping soil. Okay. So, uh, there is a possible landslide in that area. Okay. So, uh, this shows a fall which in which a large amount of soil it has lead down to the slope, this one. So number two, we have the topple. Okay, this one. Uh, this one is a topple over slope failure by toppling. So this is a forward rotation of soil and rock about an axis below the center of gravity of the mass being dissipated. So imagine you have a Lego house, then, uh, okay, may, may Lego house ka, then nilagay mo siya dun sa sloping na uh, surface, na platform, so magta-topple over yung ganawa mong Lego. So this one is a topple over of uh, soil or rocks due to this sloping ground. Okay? Next one is yung slide. 
This is a downward movement of soil mass occurring on a surface of a rupture. So this one is an example of yung, uh, yung this one. Okay. So this one is an example of sliding. Okay. So ito yung sloping mo. Ito yung sloping soil mo. So this will be your sloping soil. Okay. And the failure on your uh, on the, on, this, on the soil is due to sliding. So uh, possible cases is yung dito sa may ilalim. Okay. Uh, Mag-slide. Okay. So this will be your failure plane. This one. This will be your failure plane. So that is a possible failure or major uh, failure categories in uh, stability of a soil. Next one is yung spreading. This is a form slide by translation. So it occurs by a sudden movement of water bearing seams of sands and silt over by clays or loaded by fields. Okay, so this one is yung caused by the spreading. Okay, so by the word itself, mag spread out yung uh, soil and rocks due to this sloping soil. Okay, and number uh, five is the flow. This is a downward movement of soil mass similar to a, a viscous fluid. Okay? So, this one. So, para din siyang slide. So, para ito is uh, similar to sa uh, sand na may, uh, let's say, a soil na saturated. Okay, saturated yung soil mo uh, due to rainfall. Okay, mangyayari. Uh, there is a combination of flowing and sliding in your soil kapag sloping siya. So that will be the cause of landslide. So this one, yung flowing, is due to uh, oversaturated of your soil. Okay? So parang nagpo-flow na siya as a viscous uh, fluid. Okay? So that is the major categories of failure of uh, sloping soil. Okay, so punta na tayo dun sa calculations. So the factor of safety is a task of an engineer in charge with analyzing the slope stability to determine the factor of safety. So generally, uh, the factor of safety is defined as uh, the ratio of the average shear strength of the soil to the average shear stress developed along the potential failure surface. Okay, so this will be the, the general formula for the factor of safety against uh, the slope stability of the soil. Okay, so average shear strength of the soil divided by the, uh, the, the shear stress developed along the potential surface. So meaning, <coughs> this will be your capacity over the demand. Okay, so this will be the factor of safety. So anong masasabi nyo against uh, factors na capacity over demand? Siyempre dapat mas mataas yung capacity natin versus the demand. Okay? Therefore, we can say that the factor of safety shall be always greater than or equal to 1.0. Okay? As we all know that capacity should be always greater than the demand. Okay? This will be your uh, working equation. Your capacity, the shear strength capacity of your soil shall be greater than the shear stress developed along the potential failure surface. Okay, so this will be uh, the working equation against factor safety. Okay, so ano yung, ano yung average shear stress developed along the potential failure surface? We call it as tau sub D. Tau sub F is we know that the average shear strength of the soil. So uh, uh, we have different laboratory testing to determine the, uh, the, the shear strength of the soil. Okay, so this one, so saan ba natin ito makukuha? Okay, so let's say for example we have, uh, uh, let's say ito yung, yung sloping soil natin. And uh, we determine that there is a potential uh, sliding or uh, failure or uh, uh, failure in the soil. Let's say this one. Okay, so uh, the possible cases, the possible uh, uh, the, uh, failure plane in your uh, sloping soil is this one. So along this blue line, 
this will cause a shear off. Yeah, magsha shear off yan dyan. Okay, so therefore, this will be your, the shear, average shear strength, and this will be the, the, uh, uh, the shear stress developed in your potential failure uh, surface. So, kung titignan natin yung, uh, titignan natin yung, uh, Uh, soil element on this one. Okay, so, titignan natin yung soil element. So, if we check the soil element, so we have here the potential failure surface and this will be your tau sub D and the contradicting forces is the tau sub F. Okay? So, basically, just the ratio of the capacity to the demand. Okay. So, Uh, the minimum, therefore, the minimum factor of safety will be 1.0. Okay? So, that is uh, the factor of safety. Okay. The shear strength of the soil uh, consisting of two components. So, so, as we discussed in the uh, in the last meeting, that the shear stress can be, uh, the shear strength of the soil can be uh, uh, right in the equation tau sub F is equals to the cohesion plus the normal stress on the pit, uh, potential surface, then tangent of the angle of friction. So this will be your uh, uh, the shear strength of the soil. Okay? So in similar manner, in similar manner, since they have the same potential surface, okay? So in similar manner, we can rewrite this equation to tau sub D, C prime of D, uh, norm, uh, normal stress on the potential failure surface, tangent phi sub D. Okay, whereas your C sub D and your phi sub D are uh, respectively the cohesion and the angle of friction that develop along the potential surface. So meaning this will be the demand. Ito yung nanggaling yung demand mo. Okay, so this will comes from the demand. And this will be your capacity. Okay, so again, lahat ng may uh, uh, subscript na D is developed along the potential failure surface. Or uh, we can also uh, uh, think that D is the demand. Okay, so yan. So substitute natin yung equation 15.2 and 15.3 to, uh, to the general formula of the factor of safety. So we can say that Uh, 15.2 over 15.3 equation, we have the factor of safety against uh, uh, sloping soil is C prime plus uh, uh, normal stress tangent phi over C, sub D, C prime D plus uh, sigma tangent phi sub D. Okay? So this will be your other, uh, other, other equation for the factor of safety. This equation 15.4. So now we can introduce some other aspect of the factor of safety. This is the factor of safety with respect to cohesion, this one, and the factor of safety against friction. You have this one. Okay, so for this one will be the factor of safety against cohesion, and this one will be the factor of safety against friction. Okay. Then uh, we can compare equation 15.4 through 15.6, this one hanggang 15.6. So we can see that F prime, C, uh, the factor safety against cohesion becomes equal to the factor safety against uh, friction. So it gives a factor safety with respect to the strength. Or if this one is equal to this one, therefore we can rewrite the equation Fs is equals to Fc is equals to Fb. Okay, this is equal to one. So the slope is in state of impending failure. Generally, a value of 1.5 for the factor of safety with respect to the strength is acceptable for the design of a stable slope. So in industry, they will they are using this uh, factor of safety equal to 1.5 in their design. Okay. Again, ang sinabi niya dito, Fs is equal to 1. So, the slope is in a state of impending failure. So, anything below factor safety equals to 1 is, uh, will cause 
Okay, anything, anything below factor safety equals to 1.0 will cause, will, uh, will cause failure, di ba? So, therefore, therefore, this factor safety equals to 1.0 is the state of impending failure. So, this will be your minimum. Minimum factor safety. So, ito na yung tinatawag din, lang, din nila na critical. Okay? So, critical yan. Yan yung critical uh, factor safety mo or critical uh, uh, sloping soil mo when your factor safety is equals to 1. Okay? So, this notation, Fs, Fc, and Fv, okay, can be uh, uh, used in the factor safety in designing. Okay? So, Fs, Fc, and Fv. Okay? Basta meron lang kayong given. Okay? Fs is the factor of safety for sloping soil. Fc is a factor of safety uh, with respect to cohesion. And Fp is the factor of safety with respect to angle of internal friction. Okay? So, the stability of infinite slopes. So, we have three, uh, uh, we have two cases. Okay? Number one, okay, number one, if you have uh, infinite slopes, And number two, if you have a finite slopes. Okay. And all under infinite slopes, we have a uh, seepage. And we have uh, without seepage. Okay. So first, we will uh, uh, compare what is the difference between the infinite slopes and uh, finite slopes. Okay. So, infinite slopes, ibig sabihin, uh, uh, tawag dito, uh, for example, meron kang retaining walls. Okay, retaining walls in your, uh, in your uh, foundation. Okay, in your foundations. So, magagawa ka ng uh, retaining walls. So, for example, this one. Okay? Ayan. So, masyadong malaki yung ano mo. Okay, uh, let's say, hindi na lang retaining walls. Ah, uh, yung ilalim nung ilalim nung uh, bundok or ilalim nung hill na lalagyan niyo nang lalagyan niyo natin nang nang uh, lalagyan natin nang uh, road sa ilalim. So magkakat tayo doon. So we can uh, we can assume that this slope is an infinite slope. Okay? So masyado siyang mataas, you cannot determine the height of the the hill. So we can say that this uh, hill as, as infinite slope. Okay, this one. So, it is, uh, is infinite slope. Okay, so this will be the example of your uh, stability of infinite slopes. So, in considering the problem of slope stability, let us start with the case of an infinite slope as shown in this figure 15.7. So, the shear strength of the soil may be given by this equation. Dito, katulad kanina, tau sub F, C prime, uh, uh, sigma tangent phi. Okay? So, in analysis of infinite slope without seepage, so we are not considering the flow of water. Okay? We are not considering the flow of water. Okay. This angle beta is the angle uh, from the horizontal of your infinite slope or your sloping soil. Okay? Then, uh, so let us consider this uh, plane BC. Okay, this one. So kuha lang tayo ng isang ano, ng isang plane dito. So syempre, eh, 'di ba, gagawa tayo ng soil, and this one, ito yung i-analyze natin. So this will be your beta. This will be your beta. This is the angle along the horizontal. Okay? So let us consider this length. Let's say this one, this length also. Yeah, itong length na to. Consider lang natin 'yan. So this will be your uh, A and this will be your D. Okay. Then this will be your F. Okay. That F is uh, 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 the force that will cause uh, that will cause the uh, uh, 
the failure in uh, in sliding okay this f okay so this will be the weight of your soil this is a soil remember so this will be the weight of your soil okay that will be the weight of your soil okay then uh, drawing the free body diagram okay so if this will be w this will be na okay and this na have a uh, angle which is equal to beta. Kung ano yung angle mo dito, yun din yung angle mo doon. Why? Okay, so uh, para lang doon sa hindi nakakaalam bakit ganun yung nangyayari. So imagine you have here uh, a triangle. So this will be your beta. This will be your 90 degrees. And ito yung W. Okay, then this is your uh, NA. So, NA should be uh, perpendicular to this plane. Okay? So, ang gagawin mo, i-project mo yung W inside this triangle. Okay? Then, also project this NA inside the triangle. So, again, this should be, so let's say we call this bet, we call it uh, as beta, call it 90. So, this, uh, this one is alpha, which whereas your alpha is 180 minus 90, minus beta, right? Okay, so if we project this Na, this is uh, 90 degrees, since dapat daw yung Na is 90 degrees sa, para sa, sa plane na to. So this will be your 90 degrees then. Okay? So if this will, uh, if this is 90 degrees, therefore we can say that this is also 90 degrees. Okay, so this will also be 90 degrees. Okay, so kung ito ay alpha, this is 90, therefore we can say that this is beta. Kasi di ba, alpha 90, yun lang naman yung mag, uh, magsasum ng 180, di ba? So beta plus alpha plus 90 is equals to 180 degrees, right? So therefore this will be beta okay so that will be your beta then uh, this will be 90 okay so kung beta to beta to so therefore this one this angle is also beta by parallel uh, by parallel uh, what we call this as uh, uh, the theory in pa uh, in parallel uh, uh, in parallel lines okay that you read parallel lines so kapag meron ka ganito okay uh, if you have an angle here the same sa angle nito okay so yun yung theory of parallel lines so you have a parallel line which is this perpendicular or itong ito and ito and you have a cutting plane dito so kung alam naman na beta to this also will be equal to beta okay so kaya nga ang nangyayari uh, if you have a projection dito and the perpendicular side, kung ano yung angle dito, yun din yung angle dun. Okay? So, para lang malino tayo. Okay? Then, this W will counteract by a resistance, okay, R. Okay? So, this will be your R. Then, uh, also, a resistance of your NA have a resistance of N sub R also have an angle of beta with respect to R. Okay. Then uh, we have this T sub A. This will be W uh, uh, sine beta. Okay. And uh, we have a resistance T sub R. Okay. To this T sub A. Okay. So that will be our free body diagram. So assuming that the pore water pressure is zero because we are not considering the seepage, okay. So therefore, there is uh, the pre uh, the pore water pressure is zero. So we will evaluate the factor of safety against a possible slope along this failure plane AB. So this will be our failure plane AB. Okay. So let us consider this one. So that will be your failure plane. So impending failure is the whole plane of this one will uh, uh, will slide. 
or uh, will topple over or will uh, uh, will flow okay so uh, so this soil has a depth of h below the ground surface so the slow failure can occur by the movement of soil above the plane ab so the movement is from right to left okay so let us consider the <coughs> the slope element a b c d a b c d this one a b c d <coughs> excuse me and has a unit uh, length perpendicular to the plane of the section shown so this will be the unit length l okay the forces f that acts as the uh, on the faces of a b and c d are equal and opposite and may be ignored so the weight of the soil element is equals to this W is equals to the volume of the soil multiplied by its unit weight. Okay, so again the vol the, the the total weight of this uh if this soil is the volume of the soil multiplied by the unit weight of the soil. So basically, uh considering one meter strip, okay, this will be the uh, the volume of the soil L times H. So this is your L, this is a, a, a quadrilateral. So this will be L times H. Okay. So the weight W can be resolved into components. Okay. So can we, re can we resolve this W into components? So this will be your NA. And ito yung beta. And this one is your T sub A. Okay, so therefore, considering this triangle, uh, this triangle, okay, this triangle, this force polygon, okay, your NA, uh, sorry, your, uh, your NA is perpendicular to plane AB that is equal to W cosine beta, right? So, ito yung hypotenuse. This will be your cosine beta. And your T sub A is parallel to, uh, to the plane AB and which is equal to W sine beta. Okay? Now, considering the, the, uh, the equation for W, that is gamma LH cosine beta. And this one is gamma LH sine uh, beta okay so take note that this t sub a is the demand or the actual uh, forces that tends to cause the slip of this sloping plane so ito yung magda ito yung cause okay this will be the cause of uh, uh, failure of this uh, plane along plane AB, this will be the cause of the failure of this one, of this soil. Okay, so uh, given the effective normal stress and the shear stress of the slope uh, element can be given by this one. So, uh, lang natin yung stress. Diba stress is the force divided by the contact area. Okay, so since we have normal, normal force, we need to determine the normal area or the area of the base. So, Na, this will be the normal force. Okay, the contact area is this one. So, if this is L, okay, this is L. So, this will be L, uh, L cosine beta. So, if we consider this one, yung let BC na to. So, paano ba kunin yun? Ito yung BC. Ito yung L. Ito yung uh, beta, right? Nakikita nyo ba? This will be your BC. Then project sa inyo sa ilalim yung L. Then uh, project a, per, uh, pa, a perpendicular line. So this will be your triangle. Okay? So this BC is equivalent to uh, L over cosine beta. Right? This will be L over cosine beta. Okay? So this one. So, area of the base will be L over cosine beta. So, considering 1 meter strip, so L over cosine beta times 1. So, hindi niya na pinakita yung 1. Therefore, we have here uh, gamma H cosine squared beta. Okay? So, reciprocal yung cosine beta. 
Okay, next, uh, considering din yung uh, shear stress. So, shear stress, the same, uh, this will be the contact area, yung plane L over cosine beta. So, therefore, we have here gamma LH sine beta, okay, uh, divided by the contact area. So, this will be 1. So, hindi na siya pinakita. Therefore, we have here gamma H cosine B sine beta. So, this will be your equation 15.10 and this will be your equation 15.9. And therefore, the reaction on the W is an equal and opposite force reaction R. So, the normal and tangential components of R with respect to the plane AB are equal to this one. Okay? N sub R. Okay, kung mapapansin natin yung N sub R. N sub R is equals to N sub A, right? Okay, whereas your N sub A is W cosine beta and equals to gamma LH cosine beta. So that is uh, W cosine beta and uh, uh, R cosine beta. So uh, 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 we call it R uh, since that is a uh, 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 normal, okay, normal to uh, uh, force W. Okay, so yung R is equals to W. Since R is equals to W, we can, we can say that R cosine beta is equals to W cosine beta. Okay, and your T sub R is equals to uh, your T sub R is equals to uh, your uh, your T sub A, right? T sub R is equals to your T sub A, but different uh, different uh, uh, direction, okay? Whereas your T sub A is W sine beta, and we can uh, change W to R since they are the same. Therefore, your T sub R is equals to R sine beta is equals to W sine beta. Okay, so for equilibrium of resistance shear stress that develop at base of the element is equals to T sub R area of the base, the resistance shear stress may also be written in the same equation. Okay, my notation lang ng B for uh, developing stress or yung demand. Okay, so the value of the normal stress is given by this equation. So we can substitute, okay, we can substitute this equation Okay, substitute natin itong gamma. Ay, sorry, yung sigma. Substitute natin yung sigma. Okay. If we substitute this sigma, we can have this 15.9, which is gamma H cosine squared beta. Then, if we substitute the uh, uh, shear stress, okay, this T sub D, Using this 15.10. So substitute basically we, we substitute 15.9 and 15.10 to equation uh, this one. Okay, so we have here gamma h sine beta cosine beta is equals to c sub d okay, plus gamma h cosine squared beta tangent uh, p sub d. Okay, so we can uh, rewrite this equation. Okay. So, factor out lang natin yung CD over gamma H. Okay. So, therefore, we have here uh, sine beta, cosine beta, cosine squared beta, tangent phi sub D. Okay. So, hiniwalay lang lahat ng my trigonomet uh, trigonometric properties of beta and, uh, and phi sub D. Okay. So, uh, okay. so how to uh, uh, to arrive to this equation. So let us derive this one. Okay, may time pa tayo. So we can uh, derive this one. So kunin ko lang to ha. Wait lang.
Okay, this one. So, we will arrive dun sa equation na yun. So, paano ba nakuha yun? Okay. So, as you all know, uh, yung, C sub, yung factor of safety against uh, uh, ano natin is equals to uh, your C prime over C sub D. Therefore, your C sub D is uh, 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 C prime over Fs, right? So, therefore, we can change the C prime of D to C prime over Fs. So, we can say that C prime over Fs over gamma H is equals to cosine squared beta tangent uh, beta. Okay? This tangent phi sub D, okay, we call uh, this one is factor of safety, is equals to tangent phi over tangent phi sub D, right? So, therefore, we can uh, uh, arrange this tangent phi sub d, uh, tangent phi sub d, to equals to tangent phi over fs. So, in terms of the uh, the, uh, the demand uh, the capacity of our soil. So, this will be tangent phi over fs, right? Okay, then uh, we need to uh, simplify this uh, further. We have here C prime over Fs gap H. Okay. So this will be cosine squared beta tangent beta minus cosine squared beta tangent V over Fs. Okay. Then we need to uh, factor out Okay, we need to uh, factor out lahat ng may, uh, factor of safety lahat ng may FS. So, we have here C prime FS gamma H plus cosine squared beta tangent phi over FS is equals to cosine squared beta tangent beta. So, ito nilipat ko lang sa kabila. Okay? So, uh, rearrange this equation. So, nasa taas lang yung Fs. Okay? So, this will be uh, multiply ako ng Fs gamma H. So, ang mangyayari dito sa taas will be uh, C prime plus cosine squared beta. Okay? So, tangent phi gamma H divided by fs gamma h is equals to cosine squared beta tangent beta, right? Okay. So, therefore, we can uh, uh, solve for fs, which is fs is equals to c prime over, iwan ko tong gamma h, gamma h. Then, we have here cosine squared beta tangent beta. Cosine squared beta tangent beta. Okay? Then plus this one, kuning iwan ko yung gamma h, i-factor out ko doon. We have here cosine squared beta tangent uh, uh, tangent phi gamma h divided by cosine okay, cosine squared beta. May gamma h pa ako natira. Gamma H cosine squared beta tangent beta. Okay? So, ano yung natira dito? So, we can uh, uh, remove this one. Cosine squared beta, cosine squared beta, gamma H, gamma H. Therefore, the final uh, formula for the factor of safety will be equal to C prime gamma H cosine squared beta tangent beta plus tangent phi over tangent beta. So some uh, some books okay, fin, uh, sinimplify pa nila yung cosine squared beta tangent beta. Cosine squared beta tangent beta is uh, sine uh, beta over cosine beta. Therefore, uh, it is equals to cosine beta sine beta. Okay, so baka may makita kayo na ibang notation, so they are the same. 
Okay? So this will be the derivation of the factor of safety okay, for sloping soil in terms of in terms of uh, 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 the, the, the capacity in terms of uh, the capacity so hindi ka na hindi mo na kailangan yung uh, P sub D okay, hindi mo na kailangan yung P sub D and yung cohesion in uh, in the uh, potential failure surface so ginamit mo na lang yung uh, the Uh, yung so, galing sa uh, sa laboratory okay, yung uh, uh, yung fee and yung cohesion value okay so if we go back to our uh, module we have here this one okay so therefore we have the same so this will be the equation 15.15 okay so take note class so if we solve this h Okay, and we let this fs is equals to 1. So I, we all know that if fs is equals to 1, that is the critical uh, factor of safety. So kapag nag-solve ka ng h doon, at fs equals to 1, that uh, we call that is the critical height, hcr. Okay? So this will be fs is equals to 1 when your h is equals to hcr. This is the critical height. So this will be the Uh, the maximum height. Okay, this will be the maximum height of your soil. Okay? So, anything above dun sa, H na, sa HCR will cause failure. Okay? So, that is why this is the critical height. Okay? Then, if we consider C page, kung, uh, if we consider C page, now, uh, ulitin mo lang yung derivation ko kanina, okay, ang mangyayari lang is mapapaltan yung gamma by gamma boyan and you will arrive to this equation. So, yung gamma dito sa ilalim, naging gamma saturated, and you have a factor of gamma buoyant and gamma sat in your second term. Okay? So, this will be the, the, the factor of safety with C page. Okay, then uh, the uh, stability of a finite slopes using the Coleman's method. Okay, so this one is basically meron ka ng restriction na H, hindi na siya infinite. Okay, so ganito yung itsura ng uh, 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 soil with uh, uh, finite slope. Okay, so dito uh, meron kang back, uh, horizontal at the top. Okay, you have a horizontal at the top. So, for example, ito ngayon mga ano, uh, uh, cliff. Okay, mayroong mga, mga loads pa dito sa taas. Okay? So, this is an example of a finite slope. So, the same dun sa factor of safety kanina that uh, the, 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 uh, the, the capacity divided by the demand. Okay, so what do you think is the capacity or the, res uh, the, the resistance to this uh, uh, failure W? So, di ba yung W na to, as you all know, is equals to, okay. So, kung ito ay theta, right? So, therefore, we can say that this one is W cosine theta because we have here your theta. And this one is W sine theta, right? So therefore, the uh, uh, this W sine theta is the force that will act on the uh, the failure plane AC, and ito yung tutulak dun sa soil, tama? So therefore, this will be your demand and the capacity or yung uh, Uh, the capacity of your soil is due to this F sub F and F sub C. Okay, what is F sub F and F sub C? F sub F is due to the frictional force. And F sub C is due to the cohesive force. Okay, F sub F is a frictional force given by mu times N. Okay, mu times the uh, reaction N. Okay, this one. And the SC is the cohesive force, which is equals to the cohesion 
times the area along the trial failure plane. This, uh, uh, this trial failure AC. So katulad din na solve natin kanina, uh, AC cosine, uh, AC over cosine, uh, yan yung length AC na to. So uh, we will uh, discuss yung uh, example problem for this one. And yung W is the weight of soil above this failure plane or above this trial failure plane. So take note that trial failure plane is AC by this figure. Okay, this one. So uh, above yun yung W natin. Okay, so how to solve for the, le uh, the length BC? So you just simply take this H over tangent phi theta minus H over tangent beta is equals to BC. Okay, so ang, ang nangyari lang dyan is hahanapin mo tong length na to. This will be your h over tangent beta. Uh, sorry, h over tangent uh, theta. Yan, yan, yan. And this should be x1 minus x2. Yung x2 is yung length na to. Considering this, triangle. Beta na yung triangle. So, uh, this is uh, how to solve uh, the length BC. Okay. Then uh, this will be the factor of safety against sliding. Therefore, your FF or the frictional force plus the cohesive force divided by the the the, uh, the cause uh, the force that will cause failure which is w sine theta okay and uh, the maximum height for a critical a critical equilibrium is when your factor of safety is equals to 1.0 so therefore we have here hcr for c gamma sine beta cosine p over 1 minus cosine beta minus p so if you want to this uh, to uh, uh, to check the derivation of this one, you can go to uh, Braha M Das, okay, the uh, principles of uh, geotechnical engineering to check the derivation of this critical height. Okay, and we have here the stability number and stability factor. Okay, so this stability number is a st and stability factor is a constant. Okay, for stability. For determining the uh, the uh, uh, the the amount of stability in the soil, so the higher your stability number, the the more uh, safe yung soil uh, stability soil mo stability of your soil, and the same with the uh, stability factor. Okay, so stability factor naman yung mas maliit, okay, mas maliit na stability factor mas uh, uh, mas uh, safe. In, uh, in your uh, soil stability. And if your factor of safety is a greater than 1, this equation this equation will be changed to this equation. Okay, anong pinagkaiba lang ng equation na to sa equation na uh, Fs equals greater than 1? So, if your Fs is greater than 1, you need to find the Cd and your phi sub d. CD is the cohesion that will cause uh, the cohesion in the developed uh, potential failure plane or the demand or cohesion in the demand uh, plane. Okay. And phi sub D is the cohesion, uh, the angle of friction in the developed potential surface. So we have here this one. And yun yung V sub D and uh, C sub D and V sub D. Okay, so you need to solve for that one. So the summary of our discussion for uh, for today is we have uh, written in this uh, 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 slides, slide 13. So this will be the summary of your factor of safety. Again, this sine beta and cosine beta can be rewritten as this one, cosine squared beta, tangent beta. Okay, so that is why you have here uh, different notations. Okay, then also the factor safety against sliding with seepage is this one. Okay, uh, the factor safety for finite slopes. This will be the finite slopes. And this will be the uh, infinite slopes. 
Okay, so we have here this one and for factor safety greater than one. And other factor safety in terms of P and C is you have here this one, this one, and this one. So this will be the general formula for the factor safety. Okay, so next meeting will be discuss example problem of uh, stability of slope. So, so we don't have time for that. So do you have any questions regarding the topic of the stability of uh, infinite of uh, sloping soil? Okay, uh, okay lang naman class. Sige. So for your further readings, you can check this principles of geotechnical engineering, Braha M. Das. Okay, yung stab uh, soil stability. So, uh, meron siya iba't ibang uh, practice problem. However, uh, medyo uh, dito kasi sa kay Braham Das, nagpakita siya ng iba't ibang way of uh, analyzing the stability of uh, sloping soil. Okay, so, uh, meron siya iba't ibang research, uh, research na uh, uh, mga methodology to determine the, uh, the stability of sloping soil. So just check nyo lang yung Coleman's uh, method. Okay, yung Coleman's method. Also, we have here the PASI board exam uh, 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 problems. So ito yung mga notation in the PASI board exam. Yung sine beta, cosine beta. Okay, so that's it for today. So thank you guys for listening.